before I could walk, I climbed. Anything that could be climbed, I used to climb. James began climbing a kitchen table before he could walk. At 19, he led the hardest route in the UK. Now, he's made the first ascent of England's most difficult climb. Although he's best known for living on the edge, most days he's at his childhood home with his mum and dad in the small rural Peak District town of Matlock. I think we noticed before, before he could even walk. I was saying the other day he was climbing on the kitchen table. He climbed up there and actually weed on the table. <laughs> did. And then he was always climbing, climbed out of his cot before he could walk. Yeah, I always just just climb when I was little, anything really, like... Anywhere I went I'd try and climb something, whether it was like trees or ladders or, you know, anything really. We were looking at it on the video the other day, and he was climbing from the bottom right to the top of the house, just swinging up the scaffolding. Okay, so the first bit's pretty, pretty steady. Bit of a slab. Bit of a tricky rock over up, up to here. And then it's time to... Uh, Chalk up. <laughs> I'll spit up. <laughs> I think I'd, I must be copying my dad. I see my dad do that when he's lifting like big rocks and stuff. It must help. And then this is the technical crux. It's just kind of sustained sort of lay back in, really. <laughs> Trying to keep your feet on, keep, keep tension. And then you're approaching the red point crux. You're a bit tired at this point. Bit of a tricky mantle. Not too bad when you're fresh, but after all that, it's quite, it's quite hard. Obviously, I wasn't worried because I wouldn't have been filming them otherwise. And I'm not sure about those mantle skills. I think I've refined them a little bit since then. It doesn't come home and say, you know, gosh, I've done a great climb, and you know, I'm going to be filmed and all this. It doesn't tell us anything. <laughs> When you get a picture in a magazine, or maybe like mentioned in a magazine for the first time, it's kind of a quite a big thing. And then you get like your first picture, and that's like a really cool thing. You realise then is is obviously there is something there, and um, and you're extremely proud. Yeah, when we know he's in a magazine, we have to buy it and Grandma has to buy. Well, I think she buys two copies because she wants to cut one of them stick in a, gra a scrapbook. It's like the more publicity you get, the more money you get, and the more money I get the more I can climb, kind of. I'm always looking on the internet now, I keep putting his name in Google and having a look. I'd like to see him get a proper wage for what he does, because comparing with other sports for what he puts in, and I think it's, there's not a lot of comparison that some of the people, what people earn, and shh, I think he, uh, he does work hard at it. As long as I live here, which obviously is, is really cheap, um, and I don't try not to spend much money, then I can make a really small living. Because he often reminds me, James, so this is my, you know, I say, you know, do you ever think about getting a job? This is my job. <laughs> I think it just seems, I just can't believe it, I don't. I understand, you know, I can go to, to uni when I'm, when I'm older, I can probably only climb like this for, you know, not so long. We just want just to be happy. That's yeah, what just I just want him to be happy, yeah. And, and he's happy doing what he's yeah. doing now. You know, responsibilities come to everyone at some point in life and I guess there's no point getting them before you have to. And I do think James appreciates it now. He didn't you? Yeah, but I think he is appreciating us more. And it is. Well, he's growing he realize, up. Now. Yeah, he's growing up. He's a good lad. He is a good lad, a yeah. Good lad. yeah. And the sooner we can get rid of him, the better. Mm. <laughs> 